Welcome everybody to Google Cloud Innovators in Telecommunications. We're at Digital Transformation World here in Copenhagen and we have a wonderful guest, Mark Price from Matrix. Mark, welcome. Thank you. Could you tell the uh, audience a little bit about yourself and Matrix? Sure, yeah. Uh, I'm Mark Price, I'm the, the CTO for Matrix. Uh, Matrix is a company that uh, provides digital monetization of telecommunication services. Well, I tell you what, Mark, here at the show, Google Cloud, we signed the ODA manifesto, and our companies collaborated, and we did something pretty cool with an ODA canvas. Could you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, happy to do that, and it's a big deal, actually. So the open digital architecture, the ODA, is really a great collaboration with vendors like ourselves and, of course, the operator community. And I think it is a big deal that there's been a lot of advancement in that in this show and, uh, and this year, and, and quite frankly, uh, you know, certifying or validating that on the Google Canvas for ODA is a big deal. So it's something we're, we're really pleased that it's demonstrating capabilities that are giving operators some confidence. What it really means at the end of the day, that the open digital architecture is very important because it gives operators confidence that multiple vendors can actually manage and deploy components in a cloud native way on a, a solution like the Google Cloud. So what we've done through the uh, validation on the ODA canvas specifically for Google is saying, Google has a fantastic environment uh, for cloud native applications like Matrix and other vendors that participated in this. So on behalf of working with operators like Orange, we actually showcased that components available from uh, software vendors like Matrix can be deployed, managed, the lifecycle confidently, uh, um, uh, uh, fully validated and, and uh, actually the management components of it. So you can actually discover and manage the full life cycle of software like this in a cloud environment. Well, and, and that's pretty critical. I mean, it's a foregone conclusion. We see a lot of these systems moving to the cloud and it's starting to work into the network. But as you just mentioned, it takes a community. It's not a single vendor here or there. And tell me how that collaboration, what's, what's the timing of that? Is this something that, that we always say plug and play? Is it plug and play? How good is it? Did we run into any bumps? What did that look like? T TM Forum likes the term plug and play. And I, and I think it's, it's an apt description of where the vision is and where we're going. Uh, it's not truly plug and play, but actually it's come a long way, right? So it, you know, it, TM Forum for a long time has been aspirationally applying things like the open APIs. Uh, to, to provide some sort of a blueprint around vendors that can expose information and work in a multi-vendor environment. And, and, and that's advanced to the point now where with the open digital architecture, there are better definitions than ever before about what a component is. So a component is a microservice-based solution that provides a functional footprint. And if you have a well-defined set of components with well-defined APIs, which is what the ODA is now about. It's not simply about uh, the, the APIs alone, but actually having well-defined components with well-defined open APIs gives you confidence that you can swap in a different product catalog from the product ca catalog you've been using, or a different billing system from the billing system you've been using. In, in Matrix's case, we're providing a fully functional rating and charging component, along with all the things that are required with that, so balance management and other inclusive functions. That can be deployed as a microservice, and then as mentioned, it can be discovered as a network function, it can be managed as a network function, it can be managed as a cloud native component, so you can scale it, support all the lifecycle components around it, and then again, have some confidence that actually you can put in another similar component from a similar vendor and have similar behavior in a cloud native way. Well, I tell you what, we've come a long way in, in the way we design and engineer things, true? And yeah. so that's advanced to a point where we can have these conversations at a very advanced level and see the types of results for our CSP customers that, that we do. Cloud, cloud makes a big difference, but cloud native makes a big difference. So putting it in a cloud in, a, a environment is an advantage. What ODA is doing, and, and specifically the ODA Canvas work, is validating that we can get the advantages of truly cloud native, which means, again, you can have confidence that the operations that you would act on for these components are going to wait, work as expected. Oh, so the that's, days that's, of silos are gone. The days of silos are are slowly uh, going away, let's say, right? Because th that is the point of this as well. 
uh, components as configured, the, the way that ODA and, and TM Forum imagines it is really like Lego blocks. So, and if you're able to have uh, the composition of these microservices in new ways, it enables the, the removal of barriers around what has traditionally been silos. So listen, Mark, where do we take it next? What can we see our customers see in this partnership and, and how does that look? Well, what I'm really excited about is again, operators are leaning into this, right? So Orange was part of the validation on the the Google ODA Canvas with, alongside of Matrix yes. and others. Uh, we have operators like DT that are also leaning in and working with us and collaborating on the next stage of this. We expect to be doing catalyst work on this for next year, and this, this ultimately is infused into the projects and the confidence of where Matrix is deploying with Google and others uh, in uh, operator projects. So we're really beginning to see the promise of this being delivered in the field. I think it's everything we've been looking forward to in a cloud native environment and all the advantages you get with it. We're really happy about the partnership and how we're doing cloud native together and the structure that's being provided by TM Forum and uh, we look forward to it as well. And with that, thank you. And that's it for now from Digital Transformation World in Copenhagen.